I've settled into the uh, the country well. The sun's shining. I've been on the beach a few times, soaking up the sun, so it's good. Uh, how was the weather when you left from the UK? Oh, I don't even want to think about the UK at the moment. I've got to go back on Monday and it's meant to be raining and cold. So, so you prefer to be thinking about tomorrow? Definitely, yeah. I've been thinking about it a lot as well. The, uh, the bike course got me trembling in my boots. Will you, will you sleep a lot tonight? Yeah, I think I can sleep whatever, even if I'm uh, even before races. But it's going to be hard out there tomorrow. So, how much of the bike course did you check out? Uh, <laughs> not a lot. Um, I've ridden to Porto Cuevo, um, and I haven't really seen the biggest of the hills. Um, so tomorrow we'll see. We'll see. 150 kilometers. Be surprise. Yeah. <laughs> My tip is well for me. I'm going to try and hang on in the swim like normal. And then if I can be around Bjorn or um, Andreas on the bike, um, I'll be quite happy. Um, I should be able to run quicker than them, so if I'm within the time on the bike, then I'll be thereabouts. So. TriStar, not just plugging it, but TriStar is one of the best organised races I can, uh, I've been to. Um, I think the new, the new distances are a new challenge. Um, I'm hoping they might do one with a longer run. Um, not a longer bike and that would suit me even more um, but definitely if there's more more big high profile races in the UK I'll be there for sure Sounds good, we're looking forward to having you well, tomorrow at the finish line pretty early yep. <laughs> um, and then we'll have you back at TriStar Races in the future Okay, thank you very much Thank you very much